I was today years old when I found out that the Cheetos in Australia are not the same as Cheetos in the US. Hello, as some of you may know, I'm currently in hotel quarantine and I'm on day 10 now. The food here has been pretty awful. So I was eating this bag of Cheetos this morning. They were delivered yesterday. Uh, thank you. And... You know, when I first got them, I wasn't too excited about them. I've seen Cheeto Puffs at Woolies, Coles, and I've tried them before. They were just okay, like nothing to brag about. But then I decided to snack a bit before breakfast and I was mind blown. I was like, holy crap, these are good. And I know what you're thinking, like, Sally, you've been in hotel quarantine for over a week now. Are you sure it's not just because your taste buds are really deprived? And no, 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 no. I mean, fair point, but no. I checked the labels and look what it says. Made in the US. No, I'm pretty away for now. So this was made in America. <clears throat> now, why does this make a difference, you say? If you're Australian, you'll know that we have Cheeto pubs as well in Coles and Woolies. My theory is Fritos Lays, the company, they license out their name to a local company or a local manufacturer and they make it in the factories in Australia. They're the same in name, in packaging, but the product is completely different. I was aware that Pringles does this, so the Pringles that they sell in the US is how Pringles are supposed to be and how Pringles were. Maybe you've noticed this too. But a few years ago, Pringles changed their manufacturing to Malaysia. And with that, the taste, the size, and even the tub changed. They did release this statement and said it was because of manufacturing limitations. There were complaints by consumers. Not only has the product changed, but the size and the tubs changed. So I posted my findings and my theory on my Instagram story. And look at all the responses I got. Turns out Cheetos has the same issue as Pringles. It doesn't take a genius to know why these companies are doing this, you know, cost saving, easier to import and export. I wonder how much money they're saving by giving us subpar snacks. How did I discover this? With Pringles, I'm a lifelong fan, have been since I was a kid, so I noticed the taste difference immediately. With Cheetos, I've never had Cheetos before like recent years, so I didn't know that American Cheetos were different from Australian Cheetos. I was kind of confused by the Cheeto puffs. Um, I thought that because they were puffs, that's why they taste very average compared to the crunchy Cheetos. But no, Cheeto puffs are quite good. It's just that our ones are made in Australia, probably with different ingredients, a different method. Like, it's just missing that something. I don't know if Australia has ever had access to real Cheetos. If you know, let me know. I'm making this video to let all you fellow Australians out there know that we are being shortchanged. We are being denied good snacks. And we should protest about it. We should make our voices heard. We deserve good snacks. We deserve to have real Cheetos, say no to subpar snacks, and stop buying Australian-made Cheetos and Pringles because they're not worth getting fat for. It's a sad state of affairs when us Australians are not allowed the same access to good snacks as the rest of the world. For example, I'm in Hong Kong right now and I have access to American Cheetos. I used to be able to polish off a whole tub of Pringles in one sitting and now I don't even want to eat it even if it's there for free. Please subscribe and ring the notification bell button and let me know if you knew about this or if this blew your mind. Do you like the Cheeto Puffs and Pringles that we currently have in stores? I don't buy them anymore. I don't buy Pringles anymore. It's very sad because Pringles honestly used to be my favorite chip. And yeah, now every time I go to the US, I stock up on at least two tubs to bring home. Sour cream and onion. And I go through them in like two days. If you support Australians having access to good snacks, give this video a thumbs up. One thumbs up is one good cheater.